Do you know this man? Probably not. His name is Gerard Houllier. I say is because I think he's still alive. But about 19 years ago, he pretty much almost died uh, from the stress of trying to manage my football club, Liverpool FC. And this new series is all about him. I tell a lie, it's not really about uh, Gerard Houllier at all. Actually, that's going too far. It's a little bit about Gerard Houllier. But my idea for this series is to use uh, Championship Manager 2001-2002 to take over from Mr Houllier so that he uh, doesn't have to endure the heart problems that he suffered six games into this season. So here I am, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever on my channel I've actually been able to use my laptop to make video and that means I'm able to use webcam so you're going to have to put up with my awful awful face for uh, pretty much every video in this series apologies in advance so here we are championship manager 2001-2002 I used to play this game as a teenager wasted many an hour playing this game. Very simple game compared to um, the football managers that uh, are out there these days. But I like the simplicity. So we're going to start a new game. And I did increase the size of the database, I think. So it might take a little bit of time to load up. We want England. We don't want other leagues. So that's perfectly fine. We've got attribute masking on and use real players. I think I'm happy with those default settings. Initializing game data, player histories. This could take a while, as I said. Right, well, the game has finally loaded up and it's asking us to put in a name. Now, I need a first name and of course I'm Mr. Nobody, but uh, that name doesn't have a first name. So I'm going to call myself Yayit. I'm not going to put a password in and it's probably going to load up for another six hours before I can actually start playing the game. Oh, I forgot about this. You have to choose your nationality. Well, I'm clearly English. And we select the team. Well, we are going to take over from Gerald Hulia as promised. And here is the Liverpool squad in 2001. I'm guessing this is August 2001, pre-season. We've got John Arnavisa, who I think was a, a recent signing, who's already injured. Looks like we've got Jimmy Traore out on loan. And our star players, according to this, are Owen, Gerard, Hippier. No surprises there. Anyway, we are going to take control of Liverpool Football Club. Sorry, Mr. Houllier, but it's in your best interests that you step aside. And let me take control. <laughs> Liverpool appoint Yayit as manager. You've got to love it. Liverpool directors expect European qualification. So in real life, um, the season before this one, Liverpool finished third, I believe. And, and they won the three cups. So that's a pretty good season. And this season, in real life, they finished second. So I feel like Liverpool directors are right to expect European qualification. Starting away at Tottenham, Newcastle at home, West Ham at home. First two games, pretty tough. Um, so you can see we've already got three friendlies arranged um, in Ireland. And then we've got the Charity Shield match at Wembley against Manchester United. We're going to do that in the second episode. Anyway, I also transfer listed some players that I don't want anymore, such as this goalkeeper. Transfer listed, but made available for transfer by his manager, Yayit. We want £1.2 million for him. We want half a million pounds for this goalkeeper as well. We've got too many goalkeepers. And this striker. The problem is that the Liverpool directors don't have that much patience with you as a manager. They, you know, uh, they, they just fire you after the first season if if you haven't done well. I suspect that if I don't get top four, they're definitely going to fire me at the end of this season. Um, so I'll show you 
the tactics that I'm using. I've got Sammy Hippio as captain. It's an attacking formation, as you can see. Um, I don't have any fullbacks. That's largely because I've got Vigard Hegem, <clears throat> but he's an attacking player. And John Arnorisa, who would be my left back, is injured. And I haven't really got anyone to cover for him. So probably if we're going to buy someone in, someone in the transfer market, probably should be a left back. Fowler and Owen up front. And no, no room for Heskey, Redknapp. Carragher is useful on the bench. He's quite versatile. We've got Gary McAllister. Danny Murphy, who uh, I called up from the reserves. For some reason, he was in the reserves. And Gregory Vignal, who was also in the reserves. Now, he's a left back, but I'm not sure he's really that good. So I don't really want to change the formation just to accommodate him. I might do when uh, Risa is back. So here we are. The first match of the season. First match of this video series. It's a friendly away at Bohemians in Ireland. I think all three of our friendlies are in Ireland. So let's go. Um, well, I've got news apparently. Oh, Danny Murphy is back in full training. Nice. Proceed to the match, we might as well. I think I just normally play on this screen, so let's start. I mean, we should win comfortably. And Gerard into Lippmann, Lippmann to Fowler. Come on, Schmitzer. Schmitzer and Lippmann combining. Gerard! Oh. First opportunity. I thought I'd turn the sound on. Um, perhaps it's too quiet. I might have to turn the, uh, the sound volume up. All you can hear is like the crowd noise. Barnby crosses it in. Owen? Probably Owen is the most likely to score for me. I um, can't remember if on this game you can set corner takers and free kick takers. I feel like you can, and I forgot to do that. I'll do that before the next friendly, I think. We've got Schmitzer taking corners. I'm not sure. I mean, he's not great header, but I'm not sure he's great with uh, set pieces either. Might have a look at that at half time. Mm, and also, should I uh, speed up a little bit? What speed is this, and how do you change it? Because this might take too long. Let's go to uh, let's go to medium. Medium speed. Although I've, I've felt like in the past that if you speed up the commentary, the game doesn't like it and you're more likely to lose. <clears throat> because the game thinks you're taking it lightly. Great chance for Owen there, and he uh, left his lines. Bohemians making substitutes, substitutions already. I don't know if there was an injury there. Uh, Bohemians having way too much of the ball for my liking. Deep Mahaman there. Hopefully he's a calming presence. I mean, we're still finding our fitness, so they made another substitution. I think in friendlies you can make seven, nine substitutions. I mean, Bohemians have made at least three, and it's not even half time. I don't know whether to leave the guys on for the full 90 minutes or so that they get more fitness. I don't really know how that works. Let's have a look at. Um... Ah, yeah. See, I've not, I've not done that. And why have I got? Um direct passing. I feel like that's probably a mistake. Second half, let's go. I might throw some substitutions on with about 20 minutes to go, <clears throat> especially if it's not going very well. I'm wondering if changing the um, passing style to short was, was good after all, because we've got a lot of players in very advanced positions, and we need to get the ball to them. Now yeah, I'm going to make a substitution as well. <clears throat> Marcus Babel playing well. Uh, okay, so let's put red map on. Because uh, Gerard's fitness is looking a bit dodgy, and Littmanen probably needs to come off. And uh, we'll put 
Murphy on. Let's take him off then. And put uh, Igor Bishkan, who's one of my favourites, on. And then the only other one is Schmitzer, but I don't know if we've really got a good person to replace him. Uh, yeah. Three substitutions, I feel like that's reasonable. <clears throat> This is not looking good. We should be beating these guys comfortably. Oh no. I hope Fowler is not out. We better take him off. Come on, let me make a substitution. What's his fitness then? 72%, 71%. Let's put Hesky on. Get off. Get off the pitch. Yeah, we kind of need. Let's put a Hegemon. Or. Barnby. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We might have to go direct. <clears throat> Still nil-nil, Christ. I mean, they're just as likely to score as we are. Christ, hit the bar, what are we doing? Defending with our lives here against Bohemians. Come on, Hegem. That time someone did something. Yes. We needed Vigard Hegem to come on, for Christ's sake. And Owen gets the goal. Now I'm happy for us to play short style because we just want to keep the ball really. We don't want to go direct at this point. That ball was playing well last time uh, the last time we looked. Come on, let's keep a clean sheet, please. Shall we do some time wasting the substitutions? Bigard Heaven has been the standout performer, even though he's only been on for about 15 minutes. Nearly a second one. Murphy! Two substitutes. Bigard Heaven set up the first one, and Danny Murphy came on and scored the second one. Um, yeah, Schmitz is getting tired, so who can replace him? Can we put Murphy on the left? No, we can't really, but um, I think we might anyway. We'll put uh, Gary McAllister on, and yeah, never mind, uh, let's continue. Kind of storm for the last five minutes. Come on, Murphy. Can't let him go past like that. No, Stefan. How are you going to cope against Premiership attackers? There we go. 2-0. Owen and Murphy, two goals in the last 15 minutes. Let's have a look at player ratings. Fowler and Haman didn't play well. Lippmann didn't do anything. On the other hand, everyone else was solid, really, with the exception of Gary McAllister, and he was only on for five minutes. Hegem, Redknapp and Murphy all did well. And they came on. Certainly um, Hegem, I think, staked a case. So there we go, first result in the books, and I think that will have to do it for this first video, and I'll see you for the next one. In the next video, I think we'll try and do the remaining two friendlies. So I'll see you then. Um, make sure you give a like, subscribe. If you don't want to do those things, at least I hope you uh, didn't mind watching this video, and I'll see you soon.